as Russia continues down the path of provocation, there are going to be consequences. Despite repeated sanctions intended to stop Russia, the violence in Ukraine continues to escalate. Хочется, чтобы был мир, чтобы не было кровопролития, драки. Это не пример цивилизованного общества. The sanctions are not really constraining Russian behavior right now. Here's some background on what effect the sanctions are having and what could happen if Western leaders decide to go further. Russia is already paying a serious price for its actions. And the longer it breaches the independence and sovereignty of Ukraine, the heavier the price it will pay. The current sanctions are tightly focused. They target Russian political elites and businesses seen as close to Vladimir Putin. The ruble and the Russian markets are at approximately the same point now as when sanctions began. But what we've seen in the last three months is there's been increased uncertainty around economic behavior in Russia. I do think that it's wrong to say that sanctions are not having any impact in Russia and that the Russian government can easily ignore them. So far, giants like Boeing, Shell, and BP have done nothing to curtail operations in Russia. But in some cases, they're holding back to see how the conflict plays out. Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev has obliquely acknowledged some impact. Впервые Россия оказалась в условиях тройного давления. С одной стороны, это нестабильная мировая экономика. С другой стороны, недружественная политика ряда ведущих стран. Ну и, конечно, те самые структурные ограничения наши собственные. But so far, Putin hasn't blinked. We are keeping in reserve additional steps that we could take uh, should the situation uh, escalate further. By keeping some cards in their back pocket, the Obama administration can keep a tool to use for future negotiations. Because sanctions, although they're not very effective in preventing countries from doing something that they really want to do, they can be effective in deterring uh, countries from escalating a crisis. One option is to target the Russian energy sector. It would be a strong move to punish Rosneft, the Russian state-owned oil company, but its partner ExxonMobil would also be put at risk. That might impact Western economies just as much as Russia's. Я думаю, что и западные бизнес структуры и бизнес структуры США больше будут испытывать отрицательных моментов от введения санкций. Another option is to impose sanctions directly on Mr. Putin. This would be seen as a very bellicose act to target President Putin individually and make it even more difficult to find a negotiated solution to the Ukrainian crisis, which is ultimately the goal of the Obama administration. The end game for the West is patience. This is going to take a long time. What's going on right now is bargaining. The Russians are bargaining with force, the U.S. is bargaining with finance. And while Russia and the West continue to bargain in the diplomatic, economic and military arenas, eastern Ukraine remains a place without a lot of patience for the drawn-out negotiations that this crisis will likely require. We all want this to be over as soon as possible. Everybody is kind of afraid all the time and that's the bad thing. I don't really know uh, whose side I am on because I don't know where the truth is. <laughs>